Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have a Mitch, at least I think that's how it's pronounced, FM AM No Weather Radio Radio, Emergency Radio. It has uh, five way power, dynamic crank, solar, AAA battery, and lithium ion battery. So it also goes from AM 520 to 1710 kilohertz and FM is 87 to 108 megahertz the weather band is 162.4 to 162.55 with weather alert this is the box that it comes in it shows you some of the features here on the back of the box and it comes in two colors it comes in either yellow or red so I opted for the yellow. It does come with the um, owner's manual, which will give you all the instructions on how to use the radio. It's uh, fairly straightforward. The manual is fairly decent. Um, so yeah. Also comes with a USB uh, cable for charging the radio's battery or I guess you can flip it the other way around and charge a uh, cell phone if you have the micro connector. Um, you can also plug in other USB cords in it in an emergency to um, charge phones or other devices. First things first, got to get rid of this. Oh, satisfying. So we have here is the power button and um, if you hold it down a little longer it's a sleep timer I believe it's from 90 minutes and then if you can keep um, incrementing it um, 80 minutes 70 60 and so on so that the radio will automatically turn off after that amount of time has an alarm feature obviously there's a clock and you can set the time here and then you have uh, presets. Well, the preset will be the ones that um, it scans for and automatically loads, into the, automatically loads into the memory of the radio. And then these two buttons here are for tuning up and down the memory channels. And this tuner here is for changing frequency. We have the band selector. AM, FM, and weather band. And then here we have a switch to either run it off of the AAA batteries or the lithium ion batteries. And this is the volume control here. On this side we have the flashlight. On the back side we have the crank for charging up the uh, internal lithium ion battery. We have the uh, telescoping antenna here and this is the battery door here. It's not captive. It has one 18650 cell. This is a lithium ion battery that gets charged by the crank or the solar panel or the DC input. This is uh, the spot for the three triple A's. Um, you could use rechargeable triple A's in here, but um, the methods of recharging only recharges the 18650 18, cell, not the triple A's. You'd have to charge those um, you know, externally if you wanted to use rechargeable batteries there. On the top, you have a solar panel which will kind of trickle charge the uh, lithium ion battery inside. You have the flashlight here where you can have the flashlight on or an SOS. So the flashlight is fairly bright for a you know little radio type flashlight. That was the um, SOS alarm and it flashes the light rather loud. <laughs> um, on this side 
we have the um, output where we would plug this into and then the little end or whatever end you have would uh, be able to charge up a cell phone or something of that nature. You got a um, headphone jack here and then a 5 volt DC input which you could charge the lithium ion battery as well and you could use this cord to do it you just have to reverse it you know put a little end in here big end big end into the computer little end into the radio and if you're going to charge a cell phone or something that big end would go here and the little end would go on the phone so it's labeled output and input so uh, the bottom doesn't have anything on the bottom there is like a little panel or not really a panel just kind of a cut like in the plastic here would like maybe something would have been there but not on this particular model it has a um, a spot here that you could uh, hook a piece of rope or a lanyard or something to maybe if you're going camping um, it does have this wrist strap on it as well so all in all it's not a bad radio um, the FM works really well the weather band receives rather well the AM band however does have some kind of a internal noise and I've compared it with another radio I'd have it tuned to a station and there's just kind of a some kind of an electrical interference type uh, noise that you always hear and I brought in the Sanjian here, the Sanjian that I have, that's a uh, weather radio as well. And it does not pick up that interference. And even when I have the radios next to each other, it still doesn't. So apparently it's something internal to the radio that's generating the noise. I don't know if it's the display or, or what it might be. It doesn't seem to be affected by the backlight being on or off on the um, on the display doesn't seem to matter it's just always kind of there so for that I'd have to kind of give it a little bit of a ding for that just I mean it picks up AM stations okay it's not uh, a DX machine or anything but it does do a decent job however it always has that um, interference noise so I'll turn it on here and see if um, we can hear any of that uh, type noise uh, I do have other things here in the room, well, uh, lights and uh, computers and stuff, so it might be an, an unfair thing. It might be a noisy to begin with, but, but we'll see. So we'll try that. I'm going to just turn it on. I'll get it to some station here. So maybe without my lights, it's not quite that bad, but it is pretty close to what you're hearing here. So you get you just get this constant noise throughout the AM band, unfortunately. But FM and weather band um, seem to work rather well. Let's put the uh, antenna up here. I would say that this antenna is, I want to say, maybe uh, 16, 17 inches long, probably. All right, we'll see what we get here. Um, change it to FM. And just turn this knob to turn frequency. It is a DSP radio, so it does take kind of a second for it to latch on, but it does a good job.
And if you, um... If you go... Wishing you a happy Labor Day. Hold the tune button, it'll find the, um, the next, uh, channel. And if you hit the, um, preset button, slash weather alert, it goes through and scans and finds whatever FM stations it can find or whatever band you're on. It'll do it on AM as well. Um, and it'll load them up into the uh, memory banks. So we're up to five channels already. We'll let that scan and see what um, how many we find here. Um, it does pretty good, like I say, with FM and the weather band. AM is the only uh, thing that's kind of the downside of this radio. So if you're really into AM radio, you mm, maybe not the best choice. However, you can still pick up AM stations. And you can still listen to them. However, you know you got a you got that noise in the background all the time. So, but I guess in an emergency situation, that's better than no reception at all. Um, the FM sounds really good for a small uh, speaker. Okay, there we go. Now it's stopped. So, if you hit the um, tune button here, it'll it'll go to the next one that it found, the next preset. If you turn this one, it'll turn the frequency. So there's number three, four. Five, six, enter to win today on the night. It's finding all music. There, that's not music. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like the display. It's pretty good size and it's got a nice. Uh, amber backlight to it which looks nice um, it does a good job with that as you see we found quite a few um, FM stations here in the house uh, outside it does really good and it sounds good it locks in pretty decently let's try the weather band mostly clear waves one to two feet Wednesday northeast winds surround 10 knots backing north Waves around one foot. Light winds. Wednesday night, most. Less than one foot. So this does pretty good. Um, I can get four four stations out of the seven that are possible, which is pretty good. Now when you're on the uh, weather band, you can uh, set the weather alert and then you can um, just uh, stand by and if there's any um, event that happens, then uh, it will uh, alarm and the radio will come on. Unfortunately, you can't listen to the radio while you're doing that. But I suppose if you were, you know, camping or something and before you go to bed you could, you know, hit that and, you know, be in alert mode and um, be notified if something happened uh, in the middle of the night. Thanks for listening to NOAA Weather Radio Station W. So, yeah. And I think... I think this just changes the frequency. I think the tune button does the same thing on the um, weather band. So, so there aren't any um, presets on the weather band. There's just you know a frequency range, and within that range, there's um, seven channels 
um, for your weather band. It also has a um, solar panel on the top for charging. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But anyway, all in all, I'd say it's a pretty decent radio with the exception of AM. If AM is not um, a concern for you or you're not really into AM, then yeah, this would be fine. I mean, it does a great job picking up FM and the weather band. I mean, it picks up you know, four stations in my area, which is really good. That's a pretty good weather radio that can do that. Uh, so yeah, I'd say if you're looking for a little radio that's got weather band um, on it um, and a flashlight and a crank and all that, uh, rechargeable batteries, this might be something you might want. Okay, one, one odd thing I did discover about this radio is that if you have the radio um, turned on, But let patience ever perfect work that you may be complete and entire, lacking nothing. So then, so, if you're listening to the radio and you decide for whatever reason, oh, right now I'm on AAA batteries, I think I want to switch to lithium ion battery, or vice versa, when you flip the switch, it does like a total reset and you lose your time and you lose all of your presets. Now, I noticed that if I'm not listening to the radio, and I make that switch when it's just the clock on or something, it, it seems to behave itself. But when the radio is playing and you flip that switch from either AAA to lithium ion or lithium ion to AAA, as soon as you do that, it like resets. It's like it doesn't have enough um, power while it's driving the radio to retain all that stuff and it gets reset. So you will lose your time, your clock, and then any presets that you had set in there. So that's one odd thing that I found out about this radio. But other than that, it seems to work pretty decently. So all in all, it's not a bad little radio um, if you don't care too much about the AM reception. So I just thought I'd show it to you guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. This is the Radio Geek.